your move, Harry. Okay, Bill. Let's see you get away from my king after this move. Think you got me, huh? Why not? This is why not. Why, Don't you... I saw, Harry. This is only a checker game. Not the way you play it. Well, you still got a chance, king or no king. Yeah, maybe. If you don't make any more dumb moves, you have. I could answer that, but there's no use partners being sore at each other over a little game of... Just a minute. Bill Morton's garage. Oh, yeah? What kind? Okay, go buy it, Miona, right away. What was that, Bill? Good news? Great. A car cracked up at Hanley Bridge just a little while ago. Oh, that's swell. What make? 1942 Buick Convertible Coupe. 1942 Convertible Coupe, huh? Yeah, Buick. I sent Tom out to steal one just like it. Now meet Dick Calmer as Boston Blackie. Enemy to those who make him an enemy. Friend to those who have no friends. Hello? Mary, this is Blackie. Yes, darling? Uh, thanks for the use of your car, Mary, but you don't have another one I can borrow while mine's in the garage, do you? Why? What's wrong with my car, Blackie? Uh, nothing much. I parked it out in front of the courthouse a few minutes ago. When I went back to get it, it was stolen. Stolen? Stolen, unless it's part homing pigeon and left for its garage by itself. Oh, dear. Well, don't worry about it, Mary. It's insured, wasn't it? Oh, yes. I'm not worried about that part of it. I'll probably get it back anyway. But it certainly spoils my trip. Well, no, it doesn't. My car will be fixed in a day or so. You can borrow that. Oh, thanks, Blackie. Could I? (laughs) Oh, it's the least I can do for you. Okay, now I feel better. Oh, oh, will you do me another favor, though? Sure. Remember the route you marked for me on that road map? Yes. Well, it was in my car, so I'll need another one. I'll pick one up today. Thanks, darling. Look, Mary, uh, I want to get the police on this right away. Better give me some identifying details about that car of yours. Oh, yeah, sure. What do you need to know? Oh, engine number and so forth. All I know now is that it's a 1942 Buick convertible. Goodbye, Blackie. I'll say goodbye in a minute, Inspector. First, I want you to do something for me. What is this? Be kind to Boston Blackie week? That's next week. Right now, this is do something for Mary Wesley hour. Mary Carr has been stolen. You come to me about a stolen car? Yes, I know stolen cars are out of your department, but I thought you could use your influence to get some fast action in finding it. You do have influence around here, don't you? I don't think so. At least not enough to keep you out of my office. Well, that's because I have a certain amount of influence myself. Oh, come on, Faraday. Be a sport. If you won't do this for me, do it for Mary. Oh, all right. As long as it's for her. What kind of a car is it? 1942 Buick Convertible. Engine number? Hmm, let me see. Uh, 2936741. Four, one. Uh Uh-huh. Anything else? Nothing of importance. The thieves can't get rid of pair of ladies' gloves, flashlight, the usual junk. But don't bother about those things. I won't. Oh, there's a slight dent and a rather long scratch on the right rear fender. Dent and scratch on rear fender. Right. Okay, Blackie, uh, I'll do what I can. But I want you to understand something. I know what it is, Faraday. You aren't doing this for me, you're doing it for Mary. Well, I'm sure she appreciates it. <laughs> Come it, Tom. Okay, Mr. Morton. Pete and I are putting the motor from the wrecked car into the stolen car right now. Lord, easy, Pete. Okay, Tom. Okay. Hey, I know this car. Where'd you pick it up? In front of the courthouse. It's a little while ago, Mr. Morton. Any trouble? Ah, uh, not a bit. Hold it, Pete. Okay. Engine's in place now. Now, oh, a couple of minutes more. I have another job all done. Uh, thanks, Pete. You can go back upstairs now. I'll take it from here. Okay, Tom. You can call me if you need me. Yeah. I gotta laugh. Yeah, Mr. Morton? Why? Why? 
You know who this stolen car belongs to? No. Nah. To Mary Wesley. She parks it right here in my garage. Yeah? Well, I wouldn't know about that. I work down here in the basement most of the time. What are you griping about? This is where you do your best work. Got everything cleaned out of her car? Yeah. We'll get rid of everything. Don't worry. Good. Be sure you get rid of the motor out of Miss Wesley's car. We don't want that laying around. Don't worry, I said. Uh-oh. Somebody upstairs wants to get their car out, I guess. Pete must be busy. Hold the hammer it, Tom. Okay. I'm through anyway. Yeah? Mr. Morton? Yeah, Pete? The lady up here wants to see you. It's Miss Wesley. She wants to talk to you. Oh. Tell her I'm not here. Okay. No, wait. I'll send Tom up to talk to her. Okay. Hey, Tom. Yeah, Mr. Morton? The Wesley dame is upstairs. You go talk to her, will you? Talk to her? What'll I say? Nothing. Just hear what she has to say. Okay. You got the motor from the wrecked car in, so this Wesley gal's car will run? It's all set to travel, Mr. Morton. Okay, go up and see what the Wesley dame wants. Yeah. If she wants me, I'm not here. Okay, boss. I'll remember. I'm smart that way. Hi, P. Where is this Miss Wesley? Over there by the gas pumps, Tom. Thanks. I'm Tom, the mechanic. You want something, Miss Wesley? Yes, I do. What she wants is a car. I can talk for myself, Blackie. Thank you. Tom, do you have a car I can rent? Mine's been stolen. Ah, oh, that's too bad, miss, but we don't have a thing. Well, it was a nice try, Mary. Maybe my garage will let us have one. No, Blackie, we'll just wait till yours is ready. I'm sorry I can't help you, miss. Is that all you wanted? Yes, thanks. Well, I hope you get your car back, miss. Thanks, so do I. Come on, Blackie. Let's hop in a cab and go down to my garage. Maybe they... Say, Pete. Yeah, Tom? Did you get that new grease gun from Barney's? No, not yet. You better run over there and get it right away. I'm going to need it. Okay, but who watch things up here? I'm through downstairs. I'll take over. Right. Be back in half an hour. Okay. I'm going downstairs to see the boss a minute. You still down here, Mr. Morton? Sure. What did the Wesley dame want, Tom? Oh, to rent a car. <laughs> Isn't that a hot one? With her own car right down here. Yeah. But let her try to claim this is hers now, with that new motor in it. Yeah, let her try. Here's your dough, Tom. Twenty-five bucks. Uh, look, Mr. Morton, I've been wanting to talk to you. Huh? This job's getting to be worth more than... Twenty-five bucks a car. Both think so? I do. I don't. I think I ought to get a hundred dollars a job from now on. Or maybe I might do some talking someplace. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, I'll start by taking a hundred for this one. It's not too much. You and your partner, Harry, make almost a thousand clear on right? every... Pete. Upstairs. I sent Pete to Barney's for a grease gun. Oh, uh, don't get me off the hundred bucks. I want it. It's as simple as that, see? No, it isn't, Tom. Uh, it's as simple as this. <laughs> Here's one for luck, Jim. Harry, this is Bill Morton. I got another car ready for you. The one you picked up today? Yeah, the engine from the wrecked car is in it. In good shape, too. We ought to get 900 to 1,000 for this one. Good. I'll send for it right away. Swell. And by the way, Harry, we'll need a new mechanic. New mechanic? Why? What's the matter with Tom? Tom? Oh, he don't work here anymore. Hasn't there been any trace of my car at all, Blackie? Not a sign of it, Mary. If Faraday would have called me. <laughs> now relax and enjoy this country road. Oh, dear. I do hate to take your car when I go away. What'll you do for one? 
Well, whoever stole your car has been pretty successful in keeping it hidden for a whole day. Maybe I'll steal one, too. Oh, Blackie. <laughs> Don't worry, Mary. Blackie, I... look! At what? That car that just passed us, that's my car. It's a Buick convertible, all right. Sure it's yours? Yes, yes, yes. Look, the, the plates are different, but there's a dent and a scratch on the right rear fender. You're right, Mary, there is. Well, what do we do? Catch that guy and make him pull over. Oh, careful, Blackie. He may not want to play. This is going to happen so fast, he won't have time to play. Oh, watch it. Pull over there, you. Pull over. Blackie! Blackie, look out. Look out, nothing. I'm cutting him off. Oh, He's stopping now, brother. You Be stay careful. here, Mary. That driver may get tough about this. Blackie! Night. Blackie! He's running away! And this ought to stop him. Oh, Blackie, don't! You kill him! I was just firing into the air, but it didn't stop him anyway. Oh, let him go, darling. All I want is my car, and I I have that now. Well, let's take a look at it to make sure. All right. Hey! It's my car, all right. Look, same upholstery inside and everything. It's amazing. Huh. We don't usually have this much luck. Well, it's all yours again, so hop in and drive back to town. What do you know? I, uh... I, I think I'd rather not, though. Why? Well, I don't know. But the man we caught driving it might still be around. Yeah, that's a good thought. Well, if it leaves your mind, I suggest you take my car and I'll drive yours. I get it, Blackie. <clears throat> Auto suggestion. <laughs> Yo. You speaking to me, officer? Yeah. Where'd you get the... Well, if it isn't Boston Blackie. And if it isn't Officer Smith. Don't tell me I went through a red light back there. Nope. Well, if I did, I'll stop on a green one to make up for it. You're sitting in a bad car to make jokes, Blackie. Oh, the car's all right. It's only my jokes that are bad. There's nothing wrong with the car, Blackie. It's just what it was used for last night. Huh? What? 1942 Buick convertible with these license plates was seen out in the country at 9 o'clock last night. And the driver dumped a dead body out of it. Now, back to Boston Blackie. A 1942 Buick convertible is wrecked, and Mary Wesley's car, also a 1942 Buick convertible, is stolen. The thieves buy the wrecked car, lift out its engine, and put it in Mary's car, thereby removing from Mary's car one of its surest means of identification, the engine number. Tom, the mechanic who switches the engines from the wrecked to the stolen cars, threatens to go to the police if he's not given more money. So Bill Morton, his boss, shoots and kills him. The next day, Blackie spots Mary's car and forces it to the curb. The driver flees, but Blackie drives Mary's car back to town where a policeman informs him that a dead body had been dumped from that car the night previous. As we return to our story, Blackie has been taken to Inspector Faraday's office. So you killed a guy, huh, Blackie? And stole a car, huh? And drove out in the country, huh? And dumped the body, huh? And you thought you could get away with it. <laughs> You forgot the last huh, Faraday. Huh? All right, huh? Now, look, you. You came in here yesterday and asked me to find a stolen car for you. Mary Wesley's car. That wasn't stolen, was it? You had it. I didn't have it, Faraday. Not until just now. I caught a guy driving it, forced him to the side of the road, and took the car away from him. A oh, great story. Where's the driver you took the car away from? Well, he got away. Yeah, yeah. I was only interested in getting Mary's car back. Yeah. I wasn't interested in chasing... Inspector Faraday. Yeah, Rollins? I checked the motor numbers in that car Blackie was driving. And they were the engine numbers of Mary's car, right? No, Blackie. Wrong. They weren't. What? So, Blackie, you're driving a stolen car, huh? No, Faraday. So help me, that's Mary's car I'm driving. She identified it herself. Well, maybe she needs glasses. Or she's been around you so long, uh, maybe she needs brains. Oh, no, the telephone. Faraday speaking. Inspector Faraday? Callahan in the stolen car department. Don't bother me. Look, Inspector, you asked us to find a 1942 Buick convertible stolen from a Miss Mary Wesley. Well? We just got a call from Leonard Wells that somebody stole a car from him about an hour ago. And it was a 1942 Buick convertible. I know the answer to that one, Callahan. I've got the guy who lifted it. I'll handle this. Hey, thanks. Thanks a lot. Mikey, what's the matter with you? 
The car you're driving belongs to a Leonard Wells, not a Mary Wesley. What? Faraday, there's something wrong here. I'll say there's something wrong here. I just said that. Look, give me a couple of hours and let me find out what this is all about. Nothing doing. Oh, come on, Inspector. Be a sport. No. Why not? Aren't you the athletic type? I'm the type who can't stand jokes like that. But I'll give you two hours. And if you haven't cleared yourself in that time, you'll get two years. Yes? Are you Leonard Wells? Yes. Your car was uh, stolen today, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Gave me quite a scare, too. Somebody cut me off. I thought it was a stick-up, so I ran. I'd like to talk to you about that. May I come in? Sure. Thanks. That was your car, Mr. Wells? It was. Do you have proof it was yours? Well, I bought it. Where? Harry's used cars. When? Yesterday. You have a bill of sale? Sure. Where is the bill of sale? Right here. Mm-hmm. Engine license number matches the car. I was driving all right. Why should they? Good question, Mr. Wells. Now I'm going out and look for an answer to match. Are you the owner of this car lot? Yeah, I'm Harry. Got the best used cars in town right here. I don't doubt it. Uh, can you give me a little information? Sure, I'd be glad to give you anything you want, mister. Did you sell a car to Leonard Wells today? Yeah, sure did. Fine car, too. One of the best I've had in a long time. A 1942 Buick convertible. He recommend me to you? Yes, in a way. Uh, where'd you get the car, Harry? I bought it, mister. A fellow by the name of Jack Brown. Banged it up at Hanley Bridge the night before last. I bought it from him. Jack Brown, huh? Thanks. Oh, think nothing of it, mister. Think nothing of it. Yes, this is my car, all right, Blackie. The one I cracked up at Hanley Bridge the night before last. Lucky my wife and I weren't killed. They sure did a good job of fixing it up. Are you sure this is your car, Mr. Brown? It's got to be, hasn't it? Same make. The engine, the license numbers match the numbers in my bill of sale. What's it doing outside a police station? It was stolen. Stolen? You mean after I sold it to a fellow from Harry's used cars? I guess so. When did you sell it? About a half hour after I wrecked it. He offered me $50 for it, and I took it. Wish I hadn't sold that wreck now. I didn't know it'd be as easy to fix as this. I wish you hadn't sold it either, Bram. For whoever fixed this car of yours fixed me, too. Look, Blanky, you got ten minutes of your two hours to go. Now, why do you bother going to the morgue? Because, Faraday, I followed every other lead and got nowhere. Maybe seeing the body that was dumped out of the car you say I stole will do me some good. Why don't you give up? I wouldn't give you that much pleasure. Where's the body? On that table over there. Let's have a look at it. Okay. But you still have only ten minutes. No, no, nine minutes. Get out of that car stealing wrap. I know, I know. Here, I'll pull the sheet back. There. Mm-hmm. How long has it been dead? Since about six o'clock last night. Now will you give up? Later, Faraday. I still have nine... Hey, I've seen this fellow before. Eh? Mary and I talked to him yesterday in Bill Morton's garage. So what? So this. Jack Brown said his car was a total wreck after he crashed into Hanley Bridge. Yeah? But now his car's in fine shape. That means a lot of garage work was done on it, right? You mean the car we caught you driving was smashed up only night before last? Yes. And what I mean smashed... And the garage where it was repaired could have been Bill Morton's garage. And this fellow here could have been the mechanic who did the work on it. Could have been, could have been. What good is that? Faraday, I've got the whole thing. Somebody bought Jack Brown's wreck, stole Mary's car because they were both the same make and model, and switched the engine numbers. I'm sorry, Blackie. I thought of a possible switch in engine numbers, too. We have ways of telling if an engine number has been changed. These weren't. Oh. Hey, maybe the motor in Mary's car is the motor in the car that was wrecked. Say... That could be. The motors could have been transferred, and maybe it was this guy who made the switch. Well, maybe. But that doesn't tell us who killed him. His boss might have done it. Why? Even you should be able to figure that out. If I could only find out where he was killed. I'll tell you one thing. Maybe he was a mechanic, but he wasn't killed in any garage. He had his street clothes on. 
And there wasn't a spot of grease on him anywhere. Not on his clothes, Faraday. But look at his hands. They're covered with grease. What does that prove? It proves he was killed while he was still at the garage. All auto mechanics wash their hands with special soap before leaving work. Hey, that's right, Blanky, they do. Somebody wanted to make it seem like he was killed outside and probably switched his overalls for an ordinary suit. Must have forgotten about the grease, though, huh? Well, the grease on this fellow's hands may keep a killer from slipping through our fingers. You Bill Morton? Yeah. I'm Boston Blackie. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I'm, uh, doing a little investigating into the death of a mechanic who used to work here. You mean Tom? Tom's dead? Very. Oh, say, that's too bad. I wondered why he didn't come to work today. He couldn't very well. You know much about him? No, he was a good worker. One of the best repairmen I ever had. Worked downstairs in a shop. Oh, Tom worked downstairs, huh? Yeah. Uh, mind if I go down there and have a look around? Oh, come on. I'll take you down. Thanks. Watch your steps. They're kind of weak, some of them. Thank you. Kind of dark here when no one's working. Wait, I'll turn on a light. There. Say, some shop you have down here. We like it. We can do most anything to a car when we got a good mechanic like Tom was. Sure hate losing him. I saw Tom here yesterday. Where did you see him last? Down here. He went out that door there. That was the last I saw him. Mm, too bad. Kind of messed up place down here. But this is a garage, you know. We don't often have visitors. Now, if we'd known you were coming. Forget it. Oh, say, here's a robe map somebody's thrown away. I need one of these. May I have it? I'll get you brand new one upstairs. No, this is all right. In fact, this is a new one, too. Let's see if it has the right territory inside. Planning on taking a trip? A friend of mine is. Uh-huh. Hmm. This is what I want. Everything I want. Good. Now, Mr. Morton. Yeah? Tom's body was dumped out of a car on a country road last night. Where were you then? Me? I was here all night. Tom's body was dumped out of a car about 9 o'clock. You were here then, too? Yeah, I was here from about 5 o'clock in the afternoon until about 5 o'clock the next morning. One of my nightmen was off sick. Thanks, Mr. Morton. Thanks a lot. Hey, what are you doing pulling a gun on me? Accusing you of Tom's murder, that's all. You're crazy. I just told you I was here when Tom's body was dumped in the country. I can prove that. I know you were here, Mr. Morton, which means that somebody else dumped his body for you. But you killed him. What makes you think so? You told me so. I told you? Yes, when you admitted that you were here from five last night until five this morning. Because Tom was shot and killed in this garage at 6 o'clock last night. You remember to change his clothes after you shot him, but you forgot to wash his hands. Why, you... Too bad, Morton. If Tom's hands had been washed, maybe we'd never be able to guess that your hands weren't clean. What a lovely day for a drive in the country, Blackie. I'm surprised you wanted to go with me, Mary. Aren't you leaving on your trip tomorrow? I am. And it'll be such a relief to go in my own car. Oh, oh, by the way, you will get me a new road map like you did before, won't you? I certainly will not. Blackie. <laughs> I don't have to, Mary. I've already done it. Here. Oh, you. Thanks. When'd you get it? A few hours ago. Where? In Bill Morton's garage. Darling, do you mean that you had time to catch Bill Morton, get him to confess, and to name that Harry person as his compass, and still get me a map? Versatile fellow, huh? To say the least. Speedy, that's me. Well, let's see if you had time to mark the route for me like you did last time. No, no, I didn't. Well, you did so. It's marked. You know when I marked that map, Mary? When? Last week. Last week? Oh, Blackie, the marked road map was in my car when it was stolen. I know. And it was in an ash can in Bill Morton's garage when I went to see him. That's the map you lost, Mary. Then that's how you knew my car had been in Bill's garage and that he was involved in this. Yes, and isn't it a bit of an irony, Mary, that when I marked out the route for your trip, I also marked the route for Bill Morton's trip, the last one he'll ever take. <laughs> Thank you.